Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be taking apart this motor here. It is a the motor out of my 2x72 inch belt grinder. I was grinding away on some knives the other day, and all of a sudden the noise changed. So I shut it off, and I went over to, uh, to YouTube and said, Hey, YouTube, what does a bad bearing sound like? I was kind of hoping I was wrong. I wasn't. No, I probably could have run it for a little while longer, but uh, instead, I got some tools, got my replacement bearings here, and spent a little bit of time on uh, good old YouTube University, and we're going to try to take this apart and see if I can get it back together and somewhat functional. Okay, actually, we want it to be fully functional. So, okay, before I do anything else, one of the things that was mentioned several times was to mark the sides of the motor. Basically when I take this apart I want to make sure this end cap and this end cap go back on the correct side of this body right here. So already shook this up pretty good. Come on get the paint flowing. Almost. Almost a little paint pin. Alright, there we go. I've got one line over here, and I'm going to do, I know y'all probably can't see this, but I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, over here. Alright. Oh! Let's start attacking this side. I wonder. Oh, they are a quarter inch. Well done, WEQ -E or NEMA, whoever this, whichever one of the companies makes these motors. What I'm talking about is this driver right here is your just typical quarter inch um, bit driver. The guys who made this motor use a screw that has a quarter inch, um, quarter inch flats on it. So it fits right in there and I can just use this driver. That's a nice touch. That is a very, very nice touch. Well, nobody on YouTube seemed to have this problem, so I'm going to kind of ad-lib here. Uh, let's see, that guy right there. Yeah, that. That's a roll pin. And it was driven in from this side. But there's really no good way to drive it out because this fin is in the way. Man, nobody else on YouTube seemed to have one of these. Go figure. So, in the absence of anything better, I'm going to take my roll pin punch, kind of put it in from off to the side here, and just kind of rotate that fin out of the way. I can tell I'm bending the plastic in a way that it doesn't want to bend. <laughs> Of choice. All right, all right. 
part of the way through. All right, come on now. <sighs> why? Why? You know, I, I take back all the nice stuff I was saying about the the guys that made this motor. I, I don't like. Oh, you know what? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. I found the solution. I think. No. No. Okay. So what I what I just realized is that there's a you can't see it, but inside of there, there is a snap ring, and that's what's keeping this from going back. Um, I was really hoping that if I took this apart, that I would would be able to get to that snap ring and just pull it off with snap ring pliers, and everything would be good. Um, that's not going to be the case because of the way that this is constructed. I guarantee you. This will not be able to move back that way because it's pressed up against the uh, whatever is the bearings pressed against. Well, nuts. Yeah, I, I, I definitely take back all the, the nice things that I said about you guys making this. This is dumb. That, the little, the screw thing, that was great. This is dumb. Don't do this. Sincerely, people like me. Oh. Let me see if I can try the next size down roll pin punch. That didn't, that didn't actually work so hot. <sighs> maybe, maybe. Let me try it. No, nope. <laughs> Vice grips. Okay, so I need to add needle nose vice grips to the tool list. Okay, that's not going to work either. Hmm. Let me try this again. Maybe if I do it better, it'll work. Think that moved at all? Mm. Okay, that that let go. I right, go my stupid fan. Okay, that was irritating. All right, now you're gonna come off of there, right? I really don't like this because I'm I'm pushing out here and I want to be pushing in here where it's actually kind of supported. Mm, okay, this is just irritating. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Little something. Give me something here. Much, much aggravation. I think it's, I, I actually do think it's coming, but man, it's, it's being a pain. That, that is moving, right? That, 
Uh, I don't know. I can't actually tell that it's actually moving at all. Uh, sorry. That's, that's got to be moving a little, right? I'm not just imagining that. <clears throat> no, it's, it's moving. Barely. So much aggravation. Oh, there it is. There it. No, oh, seriously, come on. You're almost there. Just let go. Just, just let go. <sighs> Stupid plastic fan. <sighs> it didn't need to be that difficult, did it? <sighs> okay, I'll have to clean up the rust on that, and maybe that'll go on easier. Oh, okay. okay. Let me see. You didn't expect to need snap ring pliers, but all right. Boom. He oldie harbor freight to the rescue. Never the greatest tools, but nothing's greater than the tool you need when you need it. Hold on. All right, there we go. There we go. There's a snap ring. All right, let's try this. Oh. oh. Little rubber thingy on the other end. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this. Get that in there. All right. There, let's get up close and personal what I'm talking about here. Little screwdriver fits in here. Should be able to pry this open. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. Of course not. That would be too easy. <clears throat> I have another one around here. Oh, got some on this side too. So, you know what? What am I doing? Let me do this.
Oh, this is just a load of aggravation. Oh, there we go. That opened it up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just, I see how it is. I just gotta. I just wanna be hit. You like that. Just figure. Hmm. Oh. This is pulling the entire I don't know if I want to pull that out of there like that just yet. Okay. Let me see if... Aha! There we go. Okay. There's the bearing. Little problem, child. Well, what do you know about that? Here's a bearing all greased up. I should probably wear gloves. All right, let's try this again. Because, you know, there's nothing like doing stressful and or irritating things on camera while other people are watching. Okay, okay, um, what? Okay. Six, two, Zero two Z. What? What? They lied to me. Uh, okay, maybe not. Dang it. Well, I won't be getting this completed tonight. I have bearings. Okay, I did get my bearings. They are the um, 6204ZZ, which is this one right here. You know what I don't have? I don't have this little guy. 6202ZZ. Yeah. Oh, go figure. Go figure. All right, well, we'll take a quick break, order a set of these so they'll get here, hopefully before too long. And then go back to pulling these. Yay! Grump. All right. So the uh, the Amazonians are going to do their thing, and then I'll get my other set of bearing over here in about a week. Yay! I checked on the housing. I had seen this side. And it's, what is it, 6204ZZ and 6202Z? I, I thought they were the same. I was wrong. I have no one to blame but myself. But I can still be plenty mad at that idiot. He's, he's just stupid. Anyway, in the meantime... Oh... Da, 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 da. Set that aside. Bring out my bearing puller set that I bought just for this job. And I think this is actually going to be like uh, a little bit of overkill. But let's see what we got here. I think it goes on like this, but 
I feel like that's not adequately supporting the bearing. Well, I mean, okay. To be fair, I am throwing this bearing out afterwards. Oh, uh, I don't know. It just it feels like it should go on the the flat side on the back, and that would be more supportive. Supported. I don't know. Hmm. Does it even matter? I am not sure that it does. Oh. All right. Well. We'll give it a shot. If it doesn't work, we'll flip it around. Pusher guy. Puller? Pusher? Pushing so that it pulls? I don't know. There. Back. Get my wrench. I guess that works. Alright. I feel that moving. Yep. That, that works. And the bearing is off. I'll reset to the other side. Again. There we go. Oh, come on. There. <sighs> Irritating little thing, aren't you? Well, that's all I can do for now. Wait till my bearings come, and then I will do... The install. I suppose I could do the install of this side. Uh, some other time. Alright. Good night, y'all. Take care. Be safe. Do cool stuff. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to do something you have never done before. To take on a project like this. But most importantly, y'all take care of each other.
I'll talk to you later. Stupid frickin' bearings.